The 2020 M1 MacBook Air is the first MacBook that Apple designed using their own chipset. And despite being released only four years ago, they still hold up really well in today's laptop market. But just how well does it hold up? Well, in today's video, I'm going to be going through all the bits and bobs, and I'm going to be giving you my opinion on whether or not this will be the right laptop for you. Please don't forget, if you're new to my channel, a like and subscribe would be much appreciated. Let's get into the video. First up, let's talk about the design and build quality. The M1 MacBook Air still maintains its sleek, classic Apple look. It's slim, lightweight and nice to hold thanks to its premium aluminium build. And if you're always on the go, you'll appreciate how slim and lightweight it is when you put it in your bag. You might not even notice it's there. Now, let's talk about performance. It is a laptop released four years ago, so how well does it compare with other laptops today? Is it even worth it? Well, just to reassure your concerns, the M1 chip for the MacBook Air is an absolute beast. It handles your everyday tasks like a champ, whether you're browsing, streaming, or working on your documents. Everything just feels more smooth and snappy, thanks to its optimized hardware and software. And even with all that power, the battery's still impressive, giving you an all-day battery life on a single charge. One concern that some of you people have is compatibility. Well, don't need to worry about that anymore, because most apps now are optimized for the M1 chip, so you won't run into any issues there. It's also got USB ports and Thunderbolt support, so you've got plenty of options for connecting your favourite accessories. And with Apple's track record for long-term support, you can trust that your MacBook Air M1 will stay relevant for many years to come. Some of you may be wondering whether or not you should get the M2 or the M3 MacBook Air, but I'm here to reassure you that you don't. First of all, both of them sell for over £1,000, compared to around £700 for this MacBook. And also, I just don't like their design language with the newer MacBook Air models. I, I don't like that they've gone from the wedge shaped design to that very flat, uh, still quite thin, but very flat model. I think it takes away at its uniqueness and its, well, just overall premium quality feeling. And also, I don't like the notch either. I know some people do because it's a bigger display, seeing as though it's still the same size laptop. But it's a bit tacky and most of the time it gets in the way and you notice it more because it's just a big black blodge in the middle of the screen. But I guess it's personal preference. But performance wise as well, for just the baseline MacBook Airs, the performance doesn't really change much between the M1, the M2 and the M3. So I think you're just better off getting the M1. But that's just my opinion. So back to the original question, is the M1 MacBook Air really worth it in 2024? Well, I'm here to say, absolutely. Well, it ticks all the boxes. Great design, impressive performance, long battery life, future proofing. So it's just a solid investment for everyone looking for a reliable laptop. But always make sure it meets the needs of your budget. But nonetheless, if you're looking for something relatively cheap for an Apple product and seamlessly integrated into the Apple ecosystem, the M1 MacBook Air is seriously worth considering. Well, that wraps up today's video. If you found this review helpful, a thumbs up and a subscribe would be much appreciated. And always, thank you for watching. Bye!